bhakti how we can get in life prabhupad speaking that in association of devotees only you can get bhakti without the association of devotees you cannot get bhakti that is the only pathway open for you that is the only process there is no other process and pathway that you can take uh, uh, bhakti without the association of devotees you can't get that at all that krishna prapti in life that is the topmost uh, target of the life of all the jivas to get krishna in their life that is the topmost target of each and every jiva in their life that is the topmost uh, topmost mangalmaya vastu for object for all the jivas when you are by very topmost luck you can get that in your life otherwise it's not possible when you have the topmost luck in your life then only you can get bhagwan in your life that the actual uh, uh, actual dream of this brahmand in order to just go in this brahmand that jivas are having that developed that inside their heart that kind of uh, vasna that kind of attraction towards the brahmand when it is totally destroyed and vanquished jivas can understand the actual swarup jivas can understand they he can uh, he is the topmost lucky person when his total brahmand is getting destroyed brahmand vasana that is different different desires of brahmand when it is totally finished that kind of going towards brahmand when it is completely destroyed from your life the jivas are actually becoming the topmost lucky person in their life the topmost luck they can get in their life gurudev that getting the anugraha of gurudev the association of gurudev the kripa of gurudev when they get on the power of that on the power of that anugraha of gurudev that atma dharma that can get self manifested automatically the jivas are getting that bhakti also what does it mean that that just to get the anugraha of gurudev on the power of that that atma dharma is getting manifested when inside the heart of jivas the jivas can get the seed of bhakti also inside their heart shri guru kripa or bhagwan shri krishna and kripa of bhagwan shri krishna is not different from each other guru rupe krishna ki pa koren bhago in the form of gurudev and the kripa of bhagwan is not different from each other so guru kripa and krishna kripa is not different from each other what is guru kripa that is krishna kripa only it is all the same there is no difference between that and prasad guru prasad means that in fine form that with full happiness it is actually given to the uh, disciple gurudev actually becoming very happy and full of anand he is actually giving that prasadam that is that is called that is called prasad that is called uh, actual prasadam so that's why shriman mahaprabhu actually speaking that's why shriman mahaprabhu actually speaking brahmand bhumi te kono bhagwan ji guru krishna prasad pae bhakti Mahaprabhu himself speaking this point. Mahaprabhu speaking this point himself. Brahmand bhramit kuno bhagwan ji Guru Krishna prasad pae bhakti rasa bhi. Apne ko that uh, we are thinking that we are the sevak and we are the servant we are thinking ourselves as servant and sevak of bhagwan and guru vishnu that i want to serve bhagwan that is called bhakti prabhu se kuch just just to ask from bhakt ask something material from bhagwan that is not at all bhakti to think that i am a servant that i am the actual nitya das of krishna that in order to serve devotees and krishna that is called bhakti What does what do you mean by bhakti? That sev vastu, top most worshipable object. That to get the satisfaction of that worshipable object, bhakti means that to get the top most happiness of that worshipable object, Bhagwan. That is actually bhakti. Just for your own satisfaction, just for your own satisfaction, you are doing uh, service 
of Bhagwan. That is not at all bhakti. That is not at all bhakti at all. That just for your own satisfaction you are serving Bhagwan. You just for your own material uh, satisfaction and uh, in order to improve your material condition, you are actually serving Bhagwan. That is not at all bhakti at all. That is called. That is not at all bhakti at all. That uh, in front of Guru Dev, that uh, bhakti seed we can get. In front of Guru Dev, we are getting that bhakti seed, and after that, that just by like a gardener. We just need to, inside our heart, we have to bow that seed and by Shravan, Kirtan, etc. We have to do that, giving water to that Bhakti seed. That is the actual process. In order to, if some gardener from outside, he is actually doing the gardening, that you have to do just like that, the gardening by Shravan, Kirtan inside your heart, that Bhakti beat will get uh, increased. That I am the... I am the Sevak, I am the servant and then my actual duty is to serve Bhagwan. This is the when you are actually getting pratishtit in this vichar, then it is called gardening. The actual work of the gardener is to just uh, go in the garden and whatever kind of seeds I am getting, I just need to maintain that all in all my maintenance uh, uh, th- conditions and uh, service is actually given to me. So I have to just take care of each and every plant that I am the gardener of this field and this garden in order to maintain it, this is my actual duty. So I have to see that. So in front of Gurudev, that bhakti beach, bhakti seed we are getting and in the form of gardener that we have to do that uh, by Shravan Kirtan water we have to give that to that bhakti seed and that only service towards Bhagwan that is the actual dharma that in order to satisfy Bhagwan that actual the what the gardener is doing in the garden similarly I, we have also have to do the same process that whatever kind of uh, bhakti seed we have got from Gurudev we just need to like a gardener that bhakti lata beach that bhakti lata seed what we have got from Gurudev, that same Bhakti Lata seed, that what we have got from Gurudev, that topmost Ahetuki Kripa, that topmost Ahetuki Kripa, that Swayam Bhagwan in the form of Gurudev actually has given us. That Swayam Bhagwan is actually given in the form of Gurudev to us. That Kripa, Bhagwat Kripa, He has given us. He has already given to us. And that same seed, after getting that same seed, I am get. I am not at all. Uh, I am. Re- I am uh, no, leaving everything behind and not doing Krishna Seva. That is not at all good. But still, if I am actually very much uh, busy in Seva. If I am actually very uh, not feeling well in Seva, that definitely everywhere there will be problems and problems. If I am very much unhappy with the Bhagavad Seva, then what to speak? Definitely problems will, more and more problems will be there in all the four directions. All kind of problems will come in your life. Shri Guru Pad Padma, by the Kripa of Guru Pad Padma, that bhajan whatever kind of problems and barriers are there and all problems will get solved completely whatever kind of barriers and barriers and problems in our bhajan it will automatically get destroyed completely it will destroy completely that by the kripa of guru padma on that power in the way of bhajan whatever kind of barriers are there that definitely gonna get destroyed completely and will be vanquished completely from our life So, whatever the barriers in, in the way of our bhajan are there, whatever in the way of our bhajan, those barriers are there, that all kind of barriers will automatically get uh, destroyed completely. And when it will get destroyed and vanquished completely, that all kind of problems and barriers when it is getting solved, 
then we will get the top most uh, uh, top most uh, advantage in our life that from the lotus mount of gurupad padma that from the lotus mount of gurupad padma other uh, that is from the lotus mount of sadhus in front of sadhus just you are actually you are getting the actual shravan of hari katha from the lotus mount of gurudev from the lotus mount of gurudev and from the lotus mount of all the sadhus that from the lotus mount of sadhus it is getting uh, heard uh, from them only we can get that actual shravan from them that sadhu guru the actual instruction of sadhu guru what they are giving us according to that according to those instructions of sadhu guru we just need to all kind of uh, part shravan kirtan we have to do according to that that guru padman uh, just in order to follow the instructions of guru padman and sadhus the actual instructions of uh, sadhu and guru padman if we are taking it that according to the actual uh, instructions of that nitya shraddhaya adhyay shravan kirtan that kind of uh, shravan kirtan what we are doing it will come in the in the category of shravan only that guru pad padma then i am getting i am actually not becoming non different even one uh, follicle of hair there is no difference between me and gurudev i mean my acharan then you understand that definitely all kind of problems and barriers will uh, gonna destroy but if i am actually getting away from deviated from the track of gurudev just like uh, slightly i am getting detracted from the pathway of gurudev just derailed or detracted by the pathway of gurudev that different different kind of problems and barrier will come in my life atom automatically it will come in my life by shravan kirtan etc it is actually com- uh, compared with that and the sechan kari guru pad padma ashrit those people individual jeevas those who already taken shelter of gurudev and with vishwam vishwam means bhai shunam that bhai shunam without any fear where there is no which is having that kind of uh, uh, together uh, completeness is there with food without any fear that all the time we have to do service of gurudev that is the only duty that is a nitya duty of ours that sadhu in the association of sadhu guru vishnu it is very good to stay in that that in the association of sadhus it is our actual duty to do thus in order to do the association of sadhus that is the actual duty it is very much important that uh, bhakti lata seed what is there that bhakti lata seed very carefully we just need to maintain that bhakti lata seed with full uh, effort and we just need to maintain that bhakti seed inside our heart that is very much important to do that is very delicate uh, plant we just uh, it will if we are not it it is very much important to delicately deal with that uh, bhakti lata seed very delicately and uh, properly so in very fine form very perfect way you just need to make sure that you just need to do the seva of bhagwan that is very very much important that same vichar when you are actually getting detracted when you are getting free track from this pathway to serve bhagwan and guru vaishnav slightly if you are detracted or derailed from this pathway of pure guru vaishnav association and all the problems of this material world will just uh, uh, take me over from all the four directions and i can't do anything in that it will become a big barrier for me in my life the yesterday what that shloka which at the time of uh, explaining that shloka that 33rd number shloka in the vedas also that all the vedas after just uh, finding that if you are not at all finding any news information regarding bhagwan then the whole uh, ved part what we are doing is all totally wasted total waste of time by reading all the vedas that vedas actually are showing me the actual thing vedas are actually showing me that indicating me everything vedish sarve rahame vivid 
जो भगवान एंड दैट भगवान वेद छानबीन करने जस्ट बाय ऑल बाय स्पीकिंग दोज वेदा एंड स्टिल ही इज अगम ही यू कैन नॉट फाइंड दैम बाय स्पीकिंग द वेदास ऑल्सो बाय स्पीकिंग द वेदास दैट देर इज अगम ऑफ वेदास एज वेल वेदास ऑल्सो हैव अगम बट दैट बाय प्योर आत्मभक्ति दैट आदि पुरुष गोविंद I can get that Adi Purush Govind that is this is the agam of vedas but by pure devotional practice that kind of adi purush seva i can get that i same adi purush govind i am actually doing bhajan of that who is achyut anadi anant swarup and adi puran purush he is but still he is nav yovanam in that form that i have already described this point previously and lot of things i have already discussed regarding this previously in the previous hari katha you can go through that so this uh, today yesterday or today what i am discussing it means that this shloka when i have already discussed it yesterday also and the next shloka what i have already by these three four shlokas what i have already discussed brahma ji maharaj this speaking the actual speciality and difference between the transcendental world and the material world that what kind of vishay what is the speciality and difference of the transcendental and material creation and material world what kind of speciality and difference is there between that in order to understand that completely he has just made given us this kind of understanding bhagwan अद्वैत अच्छुत अनादि अनंत आद्य पुराण पुरुष ही इज देयर बट स्टिल ही इज एक्चुअली हैविंग दैट नव योवन स्वरूप दैट सचिदानंद स्वरूप भगवान इज अखंड तत्व ही इज अच्छुत ही इज अनंत ही इज दैट इन सारंग स्वरूप ही इज टेकिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ अवतार आर कमिंग फ्रॉम भगवान बट स्टिल दैट दैट कंप्लीटनेस ऑफ भगवान देर इज नो हार्म इन इट एट ऑल The, that millions and millions of avatars are coming from Bhagwan, but still that Saran Shavatar is coming from Bhagwan. Millions and millions of avatar are coming from Bhagwan, but after getting from Bhagwan, still Bhagwan is will become the complete vastu only, and infinity, infinity, uh, non-different swarup of Bhagwan, or or avatar of Bhagwan, which are non-different for Bhagwan, that infinite jivas. are actually coming from bhagwan only it is coming from bhagwan but still bhagwan that is param purna vastu he is the topmost param purna object total complete object there is no harmness in his completeness bhagwan is not at all incomplete at all he is the purna complete object he is so he is actually the complete object that uh, whatever the complete object of that complete world transcendental world there can't be any incompleteness in that at all so so purna supurna maraya purna meva avashishya paripurna paripurna bhagwan top most complete that janma adi leela in order to just manifest that he is becoming anadi he still is anadi भगवान जस्ट बाई ही इज अनंत ओनली बट स्टिल भगवान ही इज एक्चुअली देयर इन द प्रकट विहार ऑल द टाइम एंड इज डूइंग द लीला ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइक ह्यूमन बींग एंड जस्ट लाइक ह्यूमन बींग इज जस्ट डूइंग द लीला इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस भगवान अनादि निधनम प्रभु दैट सही सनातन पुरुष and behind that there is no one at all anadi 
He is the cause of all the causes. He is complete. And this Sanatan Purush is actually so much uh, uh, ancient and old. But uh, he is getting Nitya Yovanam. Yovanam. Nitya Yovanam. Means? It looks like that he is just like 16 years old, very nice, young looking, Kishore uh, situ uh, uh, situation so, of Bhagwan. But, so in Bhagwan, this, uh, that kind of uh, against Tattva, what we can find, it is uh, all against this, that Bhagwan is Ajayo, that he is Anadi. But still, Bhagwan is by devotees, he is actually getting uh, lost by all the devotees. And Bhagwan is Sanatan. But still, Bhagwan actually taking birth for devotees, for satisfaction of devotees. Bhagwan is Anand Swarup. But still, he is actually taking the form of human body and just in coming in front of us and doing all the Leela in front of us. So, this all kind of contradictory against points of Bhagwan. It is all actually all contradictory points. What we find in Bhagwan, that all kind of infinity contradictory points what are there in Bhagwan. That in Bhagwan, that in uh, complete form, it is actually all adjusted in com incomplete form in Bhagwan. So this all kind of contradictory against points of Bhagwan what we can find. That all kind of against points what we find again for Bhagwan. That in Bhagwan, in complete form, you can find that adjusted in adjusted form in Bhagwan, in complete form, we can find that is a very surprising and amazing thing to see. That this I have already told in this point that in this material world, that time, space, and matter it is actually interrelated to each other in this material world, but in transcendental world, this kind of conception of material time. Space and matter will not at all be adjusted on those basis at all. You cannot do anything in that at all. Bhagwan is Navyo and Sampan that in this material world that time, space and matter there is one kind of uh, interrelationship with each other. There is some gapping in that. But in transcendental world, that past, 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 present and future, it is actually topmost transcendental world. That is all the time present uh, permanently in that transcendental world. There are actually no difference between time, space and matter is there at all. Nothing is there at all. There is no difference in that in the transcendental world of time, space and matter at all. There is no difference between that at all. So, all those dharma, so, all those dharmas in this material world in the form of material wish, we are finding we are just kind, kind of Viruddha Bhav against Bhav it is there which is there in the Aviruddha Bhav in that form of Mool Sankarshan Baldev that kind of how this kind of uh, trans material platform Jeev can uh, understand the transcendental uh, glorification that Jeevas having that all kind of doubts and errors and faults is there in this material uh, world and this kind of material bhava that uh, individual jivas are actually unable or failure are becoming failure to get the actual bhava of the transcendental world that their gyan vritti the jivas gyan vritti it is all jad gyan vritti it's all totally material in nature that whatever then when that gyan vritti is getting converted and transformed into that chit vritti it is getting in relations with that chit vritti then only that transcendental knowledge you can get about that then if your Gyan Vritti is not at all going to the platform of Chit Vritti, that which Vritti up till now then, that by which Vritti, that should Chit Vritti, who will realize that at all? How we can get that transcendental realization? Brahmaji Maharaj speaking, that uh, 
it is also the agam of vedas also in order to go on the transcendental platform also that vedas are actually shabd mulak they are actually uh, transcendental words that all kind of words which we are exchanging is vaikai in the form of vaikai word it is coming out so vedas are actually in the aprakrit it is uh, vedas can't show us the uh, transcendental golok at all but still vedas when with that it is getting transformed into chit shakti vibhav when it is getting in connection with that chit shakti vibhav then only it is possible for the vedas that in chit vishay transcendental vishay some kind of information he they can give us but inside jivas having this kind of capacity that if jivas get the uh, kripa of haladini shakti it means that they get the bhakti that about this it is already written that but the jivas inside their heart that same chit shakti that same chit shakti that haladini sar the actual haladini sar samband with samvit shakti the by the actual prabhav of uh, samvit shakti what is there in the form of uh, chitta vritti in the form of bhakti in the heart of the jivas just by the support of bhakti on the actual support of bhakti on the power of haladini shakti or bhakti it can be possible for jivas to do that that uh, bhakti that is haladini shakti vritti that is the infinite and bhakti that haladini shakti part is there that vritti that is called that is infinity in nature and this same it's ch- shuddh chit gyan mai that bhakti haladini vritti that is infinite and it is actually full of bhakti that shuddh chit gyan mai bhakti that same uh, topmost knowledge when it is getting a oneness with the bhakti then it will not at all give a separate uh, identity with that only with the bhakti it is getting oneness and then only it is possible that transcendental golok uh, can come in front of us it means that when knowledge is coming in the topmost matured condition when gyan is coming knowledge is coming on the topmost platform of uh, topmost uh, uh, platform of transcendentalness then gyan and bhakti will become all the same but the material gyan what we are thinking that is totally different the transcendental world according to that time space and matter of the transcendental world we are we just need to understand that we just need to realize that in order to realize is very much difficult realization is difficult because inside jeevas that whatever kind of previous birth sukriti or bad or good deeds what we are doing that kind of sanskriti or bhav what we are getting from the previous birth according to that in our life that all kind of material experience what we are getting in our material bank of our material mind and intelligence what we are getting that inside that that whatever we are finding that in this material world that birth after birth or maybe from the previous birth we are getting this material experience that kind of uh, unknowledge remnants that is called material knowledge totally in any how this uh, material knowledge whatever on the basis of that that kind of transcendental knowledge you cannot understand at all of the transcendental world at all it is not at all possible here the time space and matter of this material and gyan all manuvritti is all material in nature so this mentality if you are we just going with this manobhav and this vichar buddhi if you will be going with that then this uh, all your material sense organs with these material sense organs you cannot understand the actual transcendental qualities of the transcendental world it is not at all possible to understand that but that that aprakrit jagat bhav only by the kripa of pure guru vaishnav and bhajan you can get that in your life otherwise it is not at all otherwise we'll be in complete darkness we cannot understand how we can understand the transcendental world i'll give you one example regarding this like in our material world there are only three dimensions in our material world whatever we see in this material world or what they are thinking and what they are hearing and what it is all under the three dimensions only length breadth and height kisi aisa bhi 
they there are some brahmand also there are five dimensions and this, there are four dimensions there are six dimensions but we don't know that at all we know we have no information about that because we can't have that information so whatever our realization and which are it is all in this material world only that's why that transcendental time space and matter we cannot understand at all that's why inside our heart that kind of doubt and suspicion comes that how it is possible like that that shrimati radharani is actually coming to radhakund and from there actually going to kusum sarovar kusum sarovar going there taking water and again actually is going to come to surjakund doing that leela there how it is possible it is not possible she is actually going to the house and again she is doing whatever kind of paraphernalia for surya puja he is getting and she is doing the bhog puja surya puja and after that from from surya kund again she has come to radha kund and lot of leelas are actually doing in radha kund etc madhupan surya puja actually all these leelas actually been done after that she is again that radha kund leela she is doing how it is possible because we are our vichar is actually measurable in nature we have that measurable thinking that we want to measure we have a measurable vichar we will understand that on our own we will understand this is this kind of measurable bhav how you can understand how it is possible by that measurable vichar this is all mayavadi vichar so that it is not at all applicable in transcendental world at all so naturally inside our heart that doubt and suspicion can come where nand baba in the house of nand baba bhagwan actually just sleeping in the night time and again in the night time he is getting woken awaken and again he is actually going to vrindavan and in vrindavan actually he is going there in seva kunj nikunj van and niduvan lot of places actually at the bank of yamuna he is doing raslila how it is possible and from here 80 kilometers it is from there to nand bhavan 70 to 80 kilometers it is so how you can make so if you will go by other place it will becoming more than that more than 80 kilometers so how it is possible so how it is possible for krishna to go like that it is not at all possible <laughs> so this is actually measurable bhav that in transcendental world that time space and matter always all the tribute in favor of krishna seva aprakrit jagat mein in aprakrit jagat transcendental world krishna seva what is actually anukul for krishna seva that kind of time space and matter it is actually favorable he is actually supporting and in that that measurable bhav is not at all possible five hours two hours this kind of bhav is not at all applicable there at all like ras leela has been done for one brahmaratri but still gopika speaking that it is just like a just like fraction of second this ras leela gone away went away how it is possible that brahmaratra it is just out of our uh, material frame of mind but just like a fraction of second it is gone away so that's why shri vindavan inside shri vindavan that that prajwasis that they are actually serving bhagwan all the time they don't have any kind of time factor at all they don't have any uh, they don't have any uh, they are all the time permanently present and yog maya actually is arranging everything how she is actually adjusting everything she she knows everything yog maya otherwise they don't have any kind of focus on that at all but in this material world that material time space and matter it is actually related to each other interrelated to each other but in this material world that time space and matter they are actually interrelated to each other definitely they are related to each other like samay kya hai like what is time actually what do you mean by time this question actually einstein was actually asked about this question einstein actually speaking that time is nothing but but movement that all this material world actually is all moving all the time time is nothing but movement and movement if it is there then which object is moving which movement and from where to where it will move that movement conception if it is there then movement by movement conception that conception will also come no 
that which object and what person who will go into what position from where to where it will move that conception should also come so time space and matter all these three are interrelated to each other in this material world but in the transcendental world that kind of measurable thought you cannot apply at that there that immeasurable that measurable portion of this material world it will not work there at all so so up till now we have actually discussed this point मनसो what actually is written here that same govind that uh, that same material tension in that tattva that kind of prakrit tattva that same prakrit tattva that kind of prakrit that in that prakrit tattva which he is actually uh, asking his will asking his wishes to get fulfilled in that uh, material creation those who are doing pranayam all those yogis and rishi munis they are actually just uh, controlling their uh, inner internal vayu that air internal vitals air and just in order to see that uh, adi purush govin inside their heart and that tad vastu that kind of division what is doing all the time between the tad and atad vastu about that it is actually written that that atad vastu that uh, adat that brahma anusandhan all those mush, munis those who are actually just uh, controlling their vital layers inside their heart and they are the actual pathway of brahm knowledge what they are discussing the actual pathway of uh, brahm knowledge what is actually given by all those rishi munis that uh, the actual pathway of that uh, brahm knowledge what they have given the to, to uh, rishi munis to us that uh, millions and millions of years if they are uh, the time has gone away if millions of years have also gone away if millions of years have gone away like this just by discussing the brahma knowledge but still that lotus feet of bhagwan we cannot get at all even the that maybe you can get the lotus feet of bhagwan just a very small effulgence you can get maybe or maybe not just about this about this it's already shila rup goswami pad ji has already told shila rup goswami pad has told regarding this to us भगवान लोटस फीट दैट काइंड ऑफ एफलजेंस इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट ब्राह्मण एफलजेंस ऑल्सो इट इज वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट टू गो देयर यू अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट आई एम स्पीकिंग
अविचित सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल पॉइंट जस्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड केयरफुली दैट प्राकृत चिंतातीत दैट द ऑल द काइंड ऑफ टेंशन ऑफ दिस प्राकृत जगत दैट काइंड ऑफ इन दैट इन दैट प्राकृत तत्व in order to just uh, get into that by that pranayam shil all those rishi munis who are just uh, controlling their vital airs inside their body that all the time they are in uh, controlling their vital airs and that they are actually making a difference between tad vastu and atad vastu they are actually just separating tad and atad vastu and finally they are actually just uh, uh, separating bhagwan also from their uh, dictionary and this kind of uh, brahm knowledge that kind of pantha that pathway even millions of years also it is going that the lotus feet of bhagwan that brahm effulgence also they cannot maybe they can go up to that point or maybe they can't go वेरी नाइस कीर्तन बाय शिला रूप गोस्वामी पाद एंड प्रबोधन एंड सरस्वती गोस्वामी पाद ऑल्सो हैज रिटर्न वेरी नाइसली रिगार्डिंग दिस दैट प्रबोधन एंड सरस्वती पाद एक्चुअली हैज रिटर्न रिगार्डिंग दिस वे लॉट ऑफ श्लोकस what actually it is written there that stri putra etc all this kind of prakrit vishay yoginda bijohur marun niyamajam klesham tapah tapasha tapasha eh tapah tapasha ar gyana abhyas vidhi juhuschu jatayus chaitanya chandre param avis kurvati about this next week i will be discussing about this definitely when chaitanya mahaprabhu that parat par akhileshwar gorang mahaprabhu we are getting bhakti onto lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu then everything will become useless in our life nothing will be of any use in our material life when we can get that topmost uh, ashray on to lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu that we have done atma samarpan on to lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu we can get the lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu they they actually will be taking uh, be, will be there in garhast ashram or they will be actually busy in taking the shastra vyakaran and uh, those yogis who are actually all the time busy in controlling their vital air and in the morning time they will be doing that what they are doing all those yogi postures and all those tapasya uh, tapasya vaji sadhu they will be doing lot of austerity and penances and all those yogis and mayavadis what they are all doing they all will be doing like that what you are thinking they will not do at all then they will get the bhakti onto lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu when they will be getting bhakti onto lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu then everything actually is solved in their life every problem is solved if in chaitanya charan they are actually getting lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu then everything is solved in their life all grast ashram everything nothing they will follow at all in their life yoginda bijohur marun niyamajam klesham tapah tapasha tapasha gyan abhyas vidhim juhuscha jateyo chaitanya chandra chaitanya chande param avis gurvati bhakti yog padavin naivanna asidra sa there is no other rasa apart from that the transcendental rasa so here the actual vichar the actual point is that conclusion is that that shuddha bhakti just by taking the support of shuddha bhakti that by ta- just taking the support of shuddha bhakti just to just to taste the actual taste of shuddha bhakti get the rasa of that 
that onto the lotus feet of a Govind, just getting that in your life. That those Ashtanga Yogi Gan, those who are doing Ashtanga Yoga, that is many years they are actually doing lot of Samadhi and they want to get that Brahman effulgence in their life. That same Bhagwan's uh, glory, uh, Brahman effulgence they want to get. And Advait, Advait Vadi, all those that for millions and millions of years they are actually Chid and Achid which are they are actually separating that and they are busy in that discussing Chid and Achid which are all the time and uh, that what is this Maya they are actually just separating it out and quitting in their life and at last they are actually getting that topmost Brahman effulgence they want to get into that Brahman effulgence that's it they are also separating Bhagwan also that they are not at all that kind of the that Brahma Jyoti they want to get into that which is just a part of that lotus where actually lotus feet of Bhagwan is there and where actually is Brahman effulgence you see the difference they just want that Brahman effulgence that's it in their life they want to get oneness with that Brahman so that is the concept of Advaitvadi Mayavadi lot of actually after giving lot of uh, efforts they are actually getting into that oneness in Brahma Jyoti that uh, that is the only agrabhav of that just uh, from the lotus nail of the bhagwan it is like that brahman effulgence is actually is coming so it is not actually externally total uh, charan kamal that lotus feet of bhagwan is very far away they won't get that at all all those gyani munis and mayavadis bhakti no thakur also speaking regarding this the actual point is that that kavalya brahmulla that both the points that kavalya and one is Brahmulai in the material world and uh, the transcendental world there is one demarcation in between that and Kavalya and Brahmulai this actually in this this is the actual demarcation between the material world and the transcendental world that is one demarcation part between that why because these are actually two conditions these are actually two conditions these are the actual two conditions that by not taking that in your life and by not uh, understanding that that the actual uh, uh, thing of the transcendental world it is not possible to get that when this whole thing of the material creation will go out of your mind then only you can get the actual information regarding the transcendental world it means that this kind of kavalya and brahmulai what you are finding this is actually just one kind of demarcation. This Kavalya and Brahmolai, this is one, this is uh, just uh, that between the material world and it is related with the material creation. It means that it is actually the, what kind of disappointment you are getting in material creation you are getting out of that, that's it. Or a sadness or a disappointment when you are getting out of that, it means that you will get the happiness. No, it's not that. Just to get out of that disappointment, it doesn't mean that you will get happiness. No, that it means that there is no sadness now. But uh, what kind of anand you will get when there is no sadness? What kind of anand or happiness you are getting when you are actually getting uh, sadness in your life? You also know that. So Kavalya and Brahmulai, this, uh, those all those Buddhists are there. That both, those who are following both, they are actually just getting uh, inside Virja River. And, and all those Mayavadis, when they are going more ahead, they are getting into Brahma Jyoti. So, whatever be the case, actually everything, they cannot uh, even touch the transcendental dham of dham at all. That Kavalya and Brahma Lai, it is actually, actually just a demarcation between the material world and the transcendental world. This is a demarcation part. Why? Because these are actually two conditions are there. There are actually two conditions are there. And we have to get established in this material, in, in these two conditions. And in order to get established in those two conditions, that Chid Vishesh, transcendental bhakti, that kind of glorification you cannot get in your life. And it means that the Rup, Gun, Leela, everything of Bhagwan you cannot understand at all. You cannot understand at all. If this, that's why you just need to have uh, these two conditions in your life, material and transcendental, so that you can go ahead in forward in your bhajan so this uh, kavalya and brahmulai it is actually with uh, what kind of relationship we are having material creation it is actually uh, giving us uh, uh, getting out of disappointment 
बट द काइंड ऑफ कष्ट द काइंड ऑफ अनर्थ वॉट वी आर गेटिंग इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड बाय माया देवी वैन दैट काइंड ऑफ सैडनेस और डिसअपॉइंटमेंट इज नॉट कमिंग बट इट डजेंट मीन दैट यू विल गेट द टॉप मोस्ट हैप्पीनेस इन योर लाइफ यू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू आर नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग सैडनेस इट डजेंट मीन दैट यू विल गेट हैप्पीनेस वॉट इज दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार दिस इज टोटली रबिश इफ यू इफ सम पर्सन एक्चुअली इज थिंकिंग दैट महाराज दैट दिस होल मटीरियल क्रिएशन वॉट एवर रिलेशनशिप दे आर ऑल फॉल्स इट इज नथिंग but it doesn't mean that you will get that top most anand the transcendental anand in your life because you you are actually getting out of the disappointment created by that uh, relationship of material creation but this kind of anarth or disappointment created by those material creation creative things just going out of that it doesn't mean that you are thinking that it will be happiness for you after getting out of that it doesn't mean that at all you understand that this kind of disappointment what you are getting uh, out of this material creation it is not an intelligent person that he is thinking that he will be getting the top most happiness in his, in his life so okay there is actually no disappointment now because you have already con- uh, disconnected your relationship with this material creation but this kind of disconnection whether it will give you the top most happiness in your life that is the main question if he is getting happiness okay that's okay but he will not get why because he is not at all getting connected with the transcendental world so if it is very very uh, uh, negative and misconception uh, regarding this lot of people are having that transcendental avastha that transcendental uh, situation is very much important and it's very different from material situation that all roop gund leela parikar and paraphernalia of that aprakrit jagat transcendental world that is topmost anandmay jagat here there is we cannot get even a slight information regarding that at all if we are on the material platform that uh, material uh, situation material condition that what kind of realization you are getting in material condition when it is getting totally vanquished and everything is done it's not like that it's not like that this what is this the kind kind of material creation or whatever maya of this material world just getting out of that okay you are getting out of that but proper speaking that okay you have got out of the three modes of material nature or you have actually gone out of maya but uh, that uh, three modes of material nature of maya you are getting out but after getting out of that so what is your actual uh, target that is the main point you just tell us that uh, after getting victory over maya what is your actual target that you will become mayavadi that's it you will get nirvisheshwadi what is the use of that so after getting victory over maya it is not at all everything in life it is just a introductory step after getting uh, uh, victory over maya that kind of maya adhishwar that aprakrit bhagwan govind order to take his lotus feet in order to get bhakti onto his lotus feet that is the topmost that is the actual happiness on actual goal of our life so all those jeevas their transcendental swarup and transcendental nature this kind of situation by the jeevas that kind of uh, transcendental situation and condition what they are that is the actual uh, 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 happiness they will get in their life but this actually that by the krip of chit swarupi bhakta bhakti only we can get uh, because of that and uh, that possibility of bhakti can be there in jeevas but bhakti is not at all there in jeevas that constitutional uh, situation of the jeevas that actual uh, togetherness of the to- constitution situation of the jeevas in order that bhakti can there is possibility to get bhakti but bhakti is not at all there so that's why the actual swarup of jeeva is uh, uh, krishna nitya das it's not krishna nitya bhakta it's not like that at all the the actual swarup of jeevas is krishna nitya das not krishna nitya bhakta understand so that's why that jeevas that in their transcendental condition in their transcendental phase jeevas in their transcendental swarup then they are getting onto that transcendental platform 
that is that is called actual uh, actual happiness and actual advantage in their life they will get but this only that chit swarupa bhakti by the kripa of chit swarupa bhakti only we can get that in our life otherwise it is not at all possible that haladini vritti that that haladini shakti if it is we are getting it is getting inside the uh, the jivas that chit shakti will automatically manifest the transcendental qualities inside them and that by the chit swarupa bhakti only it is possible for all the jivas to get uh, get onto the transcendental platform so without the kripa of bhakti devi it is not at all possible to get this in our life that the, by the kripa of bhakti devi it is not at all possible to get in our life that uh, transcendental situation that transcendental platform by bhakti only we are getting bhakti it means by devotees by association with devotees that they have bhakti so that's why we will get bhakti but but in niras chinta marg that on that on that nirvishesh pathway definitely this kind of bhakti and this kind of treasure of bhakti that topmost uh, uh, treasure of bhakti it is not at all possible to get on the pathway of nirvishesh brahmavadi it is just one kind of dry philosophy that's it mayavadi is uh, people heart their heart is just like stone just like dry stone just like stone they are actually their heart is dry like stone that all those mayavadi's people their heart is just as dry as stone so much hard their uh, heart is there is no point that bhakti will come inside them at all so you can uh, remember that point that from these two four shlokas brahma ji maharaj actually speaking to us and uh, speaking to us what is the actual speciality and difference between prakrit jagat and aprakrit jagat so the first shlok first thing that in that in that shlok i have just already spoken that so this all shlokas and up till this point we have just discussed uh, about that point and the next shloka that in the 35 number shlok it is already written what actually written here about this what does it mean actually that we know that this we know this point that shakti shakti matur abhed that in vedanta it is already written that uh, power that shakti and shaktiman it is non different from each other they are not at all different at all then shakti and shaktiman that purush they are not at all different tattva this is one in the same tattva शक्ति एंड शक्तिमान देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन दम एट ऑल देर आर नॉन डिफरेंट तत्व शक्ति एंड शक्तिमान देर इज नो डिफरेंस एट ऑल इट अबाउट दिस वी नो दैट दैट स्वरूप को स्वामी पाद हैज रिटर्न रिगार्डिंग दिस इन चैतन्य चिताम रेत अबाउट दिस ऑलरेडी इट्स ऑलरेडी रिटर्न देयर 
how radha govind are actually getting unified and becoming gor hari and how gor hari actually is getting categorize himself that shakti and shakti man tatva he is uh, practically realizing that by gor hari's kripa we are getting that tatva that in chaitanya charitamrit this all uh, already given conclusive tatva is given and in vedant also this kind of conclusive tatva given there already so it means that just by getting one also that shakti and shaktiman they are actually one tatva but still they are not different uh, from each other and they are actually that is only one tatva shakti and shaktiman that infinity brahmand that infinity brahmand bhagwan has just manifested bhagwan has manifested infinity brahmand but you understand this point that infinity brahmand bhagwan has just manifested and in that work bhagwan shakti that it is there in the form of aprithak swarup not different from bhagwan in a very fine form it is there that infinity brahmand what we find that all material infinity brahmand that bhagwan has manifested that is just the that bhagwan bhagwan shakti is not different and bhagwan maya shakti is also actually getting manifested in material creation so this shakti and shaktiman there is no difference between them because of that it is all the same that one single tatva infinity and infinity brahman after getting manifestation of the infinity brahman that kind of power bhagwan shakti bhagwan's power it is there in aprithak swarup means that it is not different from bhagwan that shakti what is getting from bhagwan that infinity brahman that same bhagwan it is already there inside that bhagwan that there is no uh, thing that uh, it is out of bhagwan that infinity brahman brahman that uh, which bhagwan is manifesting that all infinity brahman is actually is uh, manifesting inside bhagwan only all the time and that same bhagwan that simultaneously that same bhagwan he is actually manifesting that same brahman and he is there inside that infinity brahman that any parmanu atoms and more than molecules also bhagwan is there inside them but still bhagwan has have a separate identity apart from that as well bhagwan has that separate identity apart from that as well so this is the actually achinta shakti of bhagwan that is all that kind of govind who is adi purush that i want to worship him that adi purush govind so this alokik this is very uh, amazing to see very very much amazed to uh, think of all this very surprising to think of all this that bhagwan that in this infinity brahmand he has just manifested that and after getting manifestation of infinity brahmand each and every uh, dust particle of uh, that atom and molecules of this infinity brahmand he is there in the form of parmatma he is there inside each and every atom and molecule but apart from that also bhagwan is having a separate identification and means brahmand that first it is written jagadand kotim jat shakti rasti jagadand chaya jadanto ar anyantarastam anyantarastu paramanu chantarastam anyantar anyantar anyantarastu anyantarastu paramanu chantarastam each and every brahman that and means brahman each and every brahman that what kind of atoms molecules are there bhagwan is there in the form of parmatma there the actual meaning of this the actual purport of this point is that 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 maik tatva material tatva that bhagwan actually is different from that material tatva and that chit vastu shreshth that more maybe that maya tatva is not different for bhagwan but still it is different that material tatva that kind of election and one oneness with that chid shak chid vastu krishna in the form of that bhagwan is actually manifesting there and that same bhagwan by that achinta shakti 
एंड भगवान बाय दैट सेम अचिंत्य शक्ति बाय दैट सेम अचिंत शक्ति बाय द पावर बाय द एक्चुअल प्रभाव ऑफ दैट अचिंत शक्ति दैट इन इन शिक्ष ग्रेजुअल शिक्षा क्रम इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग इन टू ईच एंड एवरी इन्फिनिटी ब्रह्मांड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ परमात्मा एंड दिस इन्फिनिटी मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इट इज एक्चुअली द रिजल्ट ऑफ ऑल द शक्ति एंड मायावाद इज आर नॉट एट ऑल थिंकिंग ऑफ दिस पॉइंट एट ऑल दे आर नॉट एग्रिंग ऑन दिस पॉइंट दे आर नॉट एट ऑल थिंक दैट शक्ति इज देयर विद भगवान एट ऑल दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड शक्ति तत्व दे आर थिंकिंग दैट ब्रह्म इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग अ डिस्टॉटेड फॉर्म भगवान ब्रह्म इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग डिस्टॉटेड एंड गेटिंग अ फॉर्म हाउ दे कैन थिंक लाइक दैट दैट ब्रह्म कैन टेक अ डिस्टॉटेड फॉर्म है इट इज रिटर्न इन द शास्त्र दैट ब्रह्म विल दैट ब्रह्म विच इज निष्कलंक देर इज नो डिस्टॉशन एट ऑल एंड हु इज ऑल द टाइम देयर दैट हाउ ब्रह्म कैन टेक डिस्टॉशन इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल दैट शक्ति इज टेकिंग डिस्टॉशन that in a gaudiya darshan and gaudiya vachar this is a mahaprabhu shown us that this material world infinity brahmand or infinity material creation that all this infinity material creation it is just the actual result of the shakti tat of bhagwan achinta shakti and his shakti is also infinity why because infinity chid and achid jagat it's already there inside bhagwan only and this bhagwan that at one time at this one time only that in infinity uh, in this infinity jagat that each and every atom and molecule bhagwan is there inside that but still that same sham sundar swarup bhagwan is having that separate identity all the time from the uh, nitya permanent time it is actually there all the time in that bhagwan has no harm at all in that that uh, that sarvavyapit dharma that is only they are manifesting in full form in krishna only but uh, sa- he is actually sarvavyapi he is omnipresent and omniscient he having that quality he is am- he is omnipresent and omniscient but at the same time by having this quality he is there in the form of sham sundar nitya swarup in his transcendental dham and there is no kind of harm uh, possible for bhagwan in that case at all in gita also bhagwan actually speaking maybe i'll be speaking this next week that this by this vichar you can understand by this vichar you can understand simultaneously simultaneously by this vichar that achintya bheda ve tatva you that that is the actual uh, glorification of that achintya bheda ve tatva it is nothing but that achintya bheda ve tatva it is that it comes under the category of achintya veda veda tatva achintya veda veda tatva it is actually and mayavadi people they are actually all getting that uh, topmost uh, rubbish siddhant mixed siddhant and they are speaking all rubbish regarding this bhagavat tatva after this point actually it is written that after that it is written there after that it is written actually after that it is written what's written there क्या बताया? 
इट्स रिटर्न दैट that say that bhav in what what bhav that we are actually worshiping bhagwan and doing bhajan but with particular bhav you are taking and doing bhajan of bhagwan here actually it's written bhav vibhavit thiyo manujas tathivo shank prapto rupo mahima sanujan bhusha shuktvair jameva nigama prasitais tuvanti iska matlab kya hai what does it mean actually that uh, what kind of bhav particular bhav uh, an individual is having char bhav ru bhakti dara bhav bhakti dara that bhav bhakti that what kind of bhakti that with bhav you are actually getting into and doing worship of bhagwan according to that bhava that uh, that all those uh, individuals that roop mahima and all glorification of bhagwan he is there actually giving that by mantra sukti they are actually doing glorifying or glorification of bhagwan all the time by mantra that same adi purush bhag govind i am actually worshiping what does it mean that uh, what kind of bhav a particular individual is having inside their heart and according to that bhav roop bhakti that inside their heart it is there and according to that they are worshiping bhagwan and roop mahima asan everything they are actually getting that and they are actually all the time glorifying that bhagwan by stotra stava that same bhagwan same adi purush govind i actually doing worshiping of that adi purush by that bhav roop bhakti that inside our heart according to that bhav roop bhakti that different kind of bhagwan actually is getting that bhav bhakti and according to that individual is actually uh, doing bhakti of bhagwan according to that bhav that same nigatma by purush tutva stav stotra part actually they are doing bhakti of bhagwan that same adi purush govind i actually want to worship him so so जो by nigam ukt that purushottam mantra they are actually worshiping bhagwan and they are doing stuff of bhagwan and glorifying bhagwan by that they are worshiping bhagwan are they are doing aradhana of bhagwan that same adi purush govind i actually want to worship him that same that is the actual purport of this by what kind of bhav by that bhav roop bhakti that uh, all those human beings that roop mahimana asan jan all etc they are getting that in their heart and that uh, nigam purushokt mantra they are actually doing stuff of bhagwan that same adi purush govind i want to glorify him i want to do worship of that adi purush govind the actual purport is that the actual purport is that that according to ras vichar that bhakti bhav are actually of five types that shringar ras is 
So according to the this kind of bhakti, that seems some particular bhav is there. According to that bhav, that all those in, uh, devotees who are actually doing bhav bhakti, what kind of bhav a particular devotee is having? Those who are having dasya, those who are having sakya, those who are having vatsalya, they are madhur. So and what and different different kind of bhav they are getting getting into that and manifesting different different kind of bhavs toward Bhagwan. That all those devotees. That uh, Krishna Swarup, they are actually doing worship according to that um, uh, Krishna Swarup. What kind of matching it is there with that? That same Krishna Swarup, they are actually worshiping that. That continuously they are doing seva of that Krishna Swarup, and ultimately onto lotus feet of Krishna, they are actually that topmost bhakti. That where actually we have to go. There actually no kapat bhav will be uh, where there no kapat bhav will be there at all. That what kind of bhav is there actually inside someone? According to that, they can worship Bhagwan uh, in that bhav. Their nishkapat bhav is required. That nitya seva of Bhagwan they are actually doing, and ultimately they are getting that topmost nitya vastu in their life. That according to that bhav, that same matching bhav. According to that, they are worshiping Krishna Vigra, and everyone will not uh, uh, be getting that same bhav. That same rasanu roop, chid, that same chid rasanu roop, chid swarup, that taduchit glorification, that seva pit of asan, seva pit asan of Bhagwan, that uh, that chin my gun, the transcendental qualities of that uh, Shri Chit Swarup of Bhagwan, you can get that only by the help of devotees. Those who are actually getting the Shantras inside that, that Shantras is topmost for them. They are actually thinking that Brahmapad is topmost. That those who are getting Tasiras Sadhikari, they are actually Aishwarya Swarup, they are actually worshipping Bhagwan in that. And they are actually becoming Shuddha Sakya Vatsalya Madhur, they are actually getting that Adhikar in their life. Inside that Bhav they are having. According to that, they are actually that in that uh, Vaikuntha Golok Dham they are getting that in their life they are getting Golok Dham in their life and in that same spot same same spot that Sri Rasa Uchit that all kind of Upakaran that all kind of paraphernalias just by getting that in their life they are actually according to the Ved Agam Shastra they are actually Shuktanusar that Govind is they are actually worshipping him according to their particular bhav inside them. That Vedas sometimes at some some place you can see that Vedas at some some places that Chid Shakti Avalamban Purvak that Bhagavad Lila one indication they are giving some places but these Vedas that in Golok Vrindavan they are not at all act, actually getting that uh, Golok Prapak. This is Nams, uh, this is actually confirmed in Brahm Samhita. This is just one kind of indication they are giving. That's it. So, Veda sometimes actually are some places that Chit Shakti, that kind of uh, support of Chit Shakti they are taking and Bhagavad Dila Katha they are actually just indicating that by the support of Chit Shakti. And that's why that about that same same symptoms according to that that Mukta Bhaktadi the Kirtan etc they are actually doing that apart from that there is nothing apart from that there is nothing so that's why it is written What actually is written there? Clearly it is written here actually. What does it mean? It means that that what kind of rust they are having according to that they can do seva according to that and according to that they will be getting the place in the transcendental world according to that their bhav
By that Purushot Mantra, it is actually coming here. By that Purushot Mantra, that by just by speaking that Purushot Mantra, they are actually be satisfying Bhagwan. Incomplete, in total, they are want to satisfy Bhagwan. This is the actual Vidhan to satisfy Bhagwan in the Shastras. Veda are sometimes some some places that Chit Shakti they are getting the. Just indication they are giving about Bhagwan Bhagwat Katha. At that, according to same same symptoms, that all those uh, uh, Nitya Siddh devotees, that according to those same symptoms, that same symptoms are getting getting into the kirtan. That all those mukta devotees, they are actually doing the kirtan and they are can get out of the material bondage very easily, and they can establish that in bhav bhakti of Krishna. And after that. This I have already told you from the first that from where actually you are going after that that from aprakrit and prakrit bhav what is the actual difference and speciality in between that what is the speciality of transcendental bhav and what is the speciality of uh, uh, material bhav so that this uh, lot of efforts are being made by Brahma Ji Maharaj that what is the actual speciality and difference between the material and the transcendental bhav Mostly persons are just learning this material bhav only. They don't have any information regarding transcendental bhav at all. By Ananda Chinmay Rasa, that is, they are actually prabhavit, pratibhavit, they are actually categorized, divided. In Golok Vrindavan, that some kind of rasa is definitely there in Golok Vrindavan. By that Ananda Chinmay Ras, they are actually decorated with that, that with they are actually getting the topmost taste of that Chiddu Swarup and they are actually worshipping Bhagwan by the help of the Khaladani Shakti. That all the Sakhi Varg, Bhagwan, who is that Akhilat Mubhutu, that Govind, all the time that Nitya, uh, Nitya present, permanently present in Golok Dham and is taking seva from all the Gopikas and all the seva from all the different different devotees, that same Adi Purush Govind, I want to worship him. That same Adi Purush. What does it mean actually? What is the actual purport, conclusive point of this? That is the actual conclusion, what I already spoken. Shakti and Shaktiman, they are non different from each other. Just having that oneness with that, that Haladini Shakti Radharani and Krishna Swarup, they are actually getting different and in, uh, permanently they are residing in Golok and they are actually manifesting their Leelas in Golok. That same Anand Haladini and Chit Krishna, that uh, both, that, uh, that Achintya Sringaras, all the time they are actually permanently there. Actually, uh, in that same rasa, that kind of categorization of that same rasa, it is of two types. That same categorization of that Sringar Madhur Ras, that kind of same rasa what they are actually exhibiting, then manifesting, it is of two types. One is Alamban and Pratiban. One is Alamban. In between this, Alamban is, it is of two types, Ashray and Vishay. Ashray actually is Srimati Radharani, predominating, predom, predominated absolute is Radharani and predominating absolute is Krishna. That Kaivya Swaha, that is, that predominating absolute is Krishna himself. That Vishay is Swayam Krishna only, the object of worship. The object to be worshipped is that topmost Poon Govind is that uh, object to be worshipped. So, 
so that devotee in whatever ras he is actually getting uh, seva according to that that is actually that that different different rasa are there according to that same rasa are there like just categorizing that those rasas that agra vigraha agra and vigraha these are actually categorized according to that and with that that in golok in golok actually krishna is actually manifesting nitya present permanently present there with his leela shakti and what does it mean nijrupataya what does it mean it means that haladini shakti vritti that prakritita rupani that kind of art kala kala means art with that full art he is actually manifesting and uh, himself that kind of kala that haladini shakti sar that shakti vritti haladini shakti vritti what actually written here that khaladini shakti vritti this is of 64 types all kind of 64 different kind of arts that kind of vidya that art that bhagwan actually has just uh, learned from sandi puni muni that 64 kind of different different arts and kala uh, bhagwan has just uh, getting siddhi in uh, in the sandi puni muni ashram in gurukul when krishna and balram actually went there that 64 kind of different kala art and culture they have just learned different different of 64 types they have learned in sandi puni muni ashram that 64 different kind of arts and culture they have learned in sandi puni muni ashram so that kind of art and culture you it can get developed so that everything everything all the gopikas actually using that same art and culture for the seva of govind so different different kind of 64 types of kala or art and culture all those sakhi manjaris they are actually do, uh, taking that art and culture they are actually manifesting that for the actual transcendental seva of radha govind so in that same rasa that it is getting categorized that and all those gopigans and in golok krishna in krishna he is actually uh, manifesting his leela with all those gopikas they are in golok transcendental golok with all those 64 different kind of uh, different art and culture bhagwan is manifesting himself with this seva swarup uh, gopikas and all the time present they are nitya in the golok dham murtiman bala murtiman it means that 64 kind of different art and culture that siddhi kala it is actually getting manifested and in golok dham all the time permanently present in golok dham and in this material jagat that chit shakti parayan by that that kind of what what leela that kind of rasa swadan bhagwan has done it is actually manifesting in this bomb platform so that by shri larup goswami pad actually speaking it means the actual meaning is that that golok in golok dham all the time that shri anant leela of radha govind with manifestation of that anant leela in golok all the time that shri and anant that anant leela they are actually getting manifested that krishna is actually uh, permanently present there all the time is manifesting different leelas it means that in golok all the time shri anant leela of radha govind it's actually getting manifestation krishna is swayam uh, permanently present there in golok dham and we can see krishna there in golok dham permanently and sometimes in this material creation also we can see that same manifestation of leela 
in bomb platform we can see that because lila is there in cyclic order all the time it's going on there is no point of stopping that lila at all shri hari is uh, with all the family members that janmadi lila is actually manifesting that and if he is actually disappearing that lila also for some times from some platform material platform or some uh, for some times he is disappearing some lila also for some time then maybe inside this uh, inside this material world also sometimes it is getting manifested in this lila that lila and that uh, he is getting that janmadi lila that birth 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 lila bhagwan is doing in um, uh, nandgaon this kind of all actually just came later so this all kind of birth lila bhagwan actually showing is sometimes actually manifested on the material platform as well and inside this material world this lila also of birth lila bhagwan is actually manifesting in order to just protect jeevas from material bondage shri hari is actually with all his paraphernalia and family members transcendental family members he is actually manifesting that leela in on that material platform also in order to just protect all those bonded jeeva from their material bondage that leela shakti of govind that according to that same same bhav he is actually getting categorized in that when that kind of inspiration of to do seva in that particular bhav we are feeling that so all those leela those it's actually coming on this material platform those leelas were acting, actually man getting manifested on this material platform what bhagwan is actually manifesting on this uh, material platform made of five, five elements that this krishna leela and all leela they is actually getting manifested on this material platform and that in aprakat swarup disappeared swarup it is there in golok dham transcendent to golok dham and maybe we'll be discussing that next week about this tatva today i will be actually rest giving rest up till this point everything is transcendental nothing is actually material at all it is actually out of our range of our mind material mind what to do so it is actually we can't understand that without the krip of guru vishnu so apart from bhakti bhagwan in order to attract bhagwan that to get bhakti of bhagwan it is not at all possible by the kripa of bhagwan only it is possible whatever be the whether it's moksha kam dharma kam whatever be there what desire is there but bhakti is the top most you need to take the support of bhakti tibde na bhakti yoge na jaje to purusham param वांछा कल्पतुर्वश्य के पास सिंधु बेबजो पतितानंग पावरे भो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमः